learners topic of this session is on derivative as a rate of change this topic is a basic application of calculus and it's a very important topic if you go for an application engineering uh, specialization and all this topic is very very important so first you must know the terms we are using under these topics one is s of t what is this s of t s of t is a normally we call it as a function given in our problem so t represent the time and s represent the position of an object or a particle at time t so t is always measured in seconds and s is always measured in distances or kilometer or meter whatever units given in the problem we can work it according to that now come to the first term of this based on the s of t we can find we can able to find velocity what is velocity the force of this moving particle s of t okay s dash of t first derivative ds by dt differentiate s with respect to, to time t that is called s dash of t speed second term what is speed if you are finding the modulus absolute value of the velocity you will get the speed that is modulus of s dash of t now come to the third keyword using in our discussion is acceleration we used to ask find acceleration how to find acceleration s double dash second derivative of the given s of t s double dash of t and come to the fourth keyword average rate of change find average rate of change s of b minus s of a divided by b minus a a and b are the given interval in our problem you just apply a and b in the given function s of t okay simplify this form you will get the average rate of change and come to how to find the uh, moment of the particle or particle is moving in uh, which direction left to right or right to left uh, based on these keywords left to right means if the velocity v of t means velocity that is first derivative must be a positive means we can say left to right right to left means velocity become negative v of t is negative means we can comment the uh, moving object a uh, moving particle is moved from right to left okay so okay, take this good simple example s of t is equal to t square minus 5t plus 1 at the time 3 seconds time is always measured in seconds okay at time 3 seconds find the uh, moving uh, which direction of the moving particle like that so we need to find first step s dash of t so what is s dash of t 2t t square differentiation is 2t minus 5t differentiation is 5 so at this time 3 what is the nature of s dash of 3 2 times 3 minus 5 this become positive 1 okay this is greater than 0 so I can comment the particle is moving from left to right understand so if velocity is positive the moment the moving the moving particle uh, the direction is left to right okay understand I will go to the second one a soft t equal to 2t cube minus 3t squared minus 20 plus 8 the question is find the direction of movement and the particle is slowing down or speeding up during the given interval that is the question okay now how to solve this find the s dash s dash we call it as velocity 60 square minus 60 minus 12 okay differentiation of 2t cube is 60 square 60 minus 12 find the acceleration second derivative can you differentiate again 12t minus 6 okay 60 square differentiation is 12t minus 60 differentiation is minus 6 minus 12 is 0 okay now i need s dash of t equal to zero i need the intervals of this uh, moving particle in what interval the particle is moving okay so first you make it as s dash of t equal to zero 60 square minus 60 minus 12 equal to zero if you are factorizing 
or you are solving this quadratic equation, you will get two values of t, one is 2, another one is negative 1, time is always positive, so we consider 2 seconds only, we reject this negative 1. Now come to, yes, double dash, acceleration equal to 0, at what time this acceleration is 0, find out, 12t minus 6 equal to 0, it's a linear equation, solving t become half seconds. Now based on these two positive time durations, we can split our interval, real interval to the right top. Time is always beginning with the zero, initial time is zero, we call it as. So zero to half, half seconds, and half to two, and two to positive infinity. I split the time duration in this interval. So in this interval, take any value from this first interval and apply in velocity. Suppose I'm taking 0 0.25, apply here 6 times 0 0.25 square minus 6 times 0 0.25 minus 12, that is negative, okay. Similarly, you consider any value in this interval, I can consider easily 1, so 6 times 1, minus 6 times 1, minus 12, so this two term get scratched, negative 12, the velocity during this, you take any value, velocity during this interval is always negative, and consider 3 or 5 or 10 or 100 seconds also, so we get the positive velocity during this interval. So you know the moment, moment of the directions, if it is velocity is negative right to left, if velocity is negative right to left, and if it is a positive left to right. Now come to the slowing down or speeding up. Apply the same values in acceleration. We consider 0 0.25 for this means, uh, check it with 0 0.25 in acceleration. 12 times 0 0.25 minus 6 it is a positive quantity, and it can be positive. Okay, so take any interval from this, apply an acceleration, it is positive, similarly, you can consider any time in this 2 to plus infinity, apply, you will get positive. If this velocity is negative and acceleration is positive, two different opposite forces, so definitely the particle moving slowly, so that's called slowing down comment. Okay, if it is in a different sign, or we call it as negative velocity, positive acceleration, opposite sign, so a particle is really slowing down while moving. Okay, now if it is in the same sign, positive velocity is positive, acceleration is also positive. The moment of the two forces are together on the same side means positive, positive direction means definitely the particle moving in a speedy manner that is called speeding up. So different in sign, velocity, acceleration, different in sign we control it as particle is slowing down and same in sign we can control it as speeding up. Come to the third example. A rocket is fired vertically upward from the ground. The distance s in feet, unit is given as feet, that the rocket traveled from the ground t seconds is given by the function s of t is given as minus 16 t square plus 560 times t. The question subdivisions are find the velocity of the rocket three seconds after being fired. What is velocity? First derivative. S dash of t is minus 32 times t plus 560. This is the derivative terms after differentiating s of t. Now I need at three seconds what is the velocity? Apply three as t seconds by negative 32 times 3 plus 560 is 464 feet per second is the unit of velocity. Now come to acceleration. Find the acceleration of the rocket after 3 seconds being fired. What is acceleration? I already told in my introduction itself. S double dash of t equal to negative 32 second derivative of this given function S of t. So I differentiate again velocity minus 32 t become negative 32 plus 560 differentiation is 0. So it is a constant velocity. Velocity may be positive or negative. Okay, it's a constant velocity. I need S double dash of time is 3 seconds. It become minus 32 only since it is a fixed acceleration. Minus 32 feet per second squared is the acceleration throughout the moving particle uh, even though at 3 seconds that is also minus 32. Thank you.
I hope you all enjoy my discussion. If you have any questions related to rate of change, please drop your questions in chat box, share this video and subscribe also. Thank you very much.